I'm here at the Printworks for the very first ever Grim Up North Festival. We'll be meeting some of the cast and crew, as well as an exclusive interview with the Hellraiser team. It started to snowball very quickly. There's a real sense of, if you build it, they will come about this festival. The writers all contacted us to get in touch and say, hey, we can do this, hey, we can do that. I think it's a great idea because there's not many like horror films, that horror film festivals that I know about which are up in the Northwest. I'm being from around this area. It's like, I'm delighted to be able to come back. Troy is the Romanian word for vampire, um, but it's very different from the normal vampire movies, especially the more recent vampire movies. It's based on the original folklore. We shot it on 35 millimeter, a very old school, but um, it, it still looks the best. The cast was Romanian, but the film's in English, so just in general, over time, the hardest thing was um, the cast had to speak in English when it wasn't their first language, which is very tough for them, but they do an excellent job. She came to my house and ate everything, and then she started to eat me. If he was dead, the police didn't bury him, right? No, we didn't. He's the He can't be. We can't interrupt you. He's he sick. No, he's not sick. He's dead. Some of the ones that have been the, the real hits with the audience haven't been the expected ones. So that's been nice, you know, people discovering you know, a lot of the sort of lower budget independent British filmmakers have got really good response from, from this festival, from, from the audiences. So it's been nice from that point of view too. It's encouraging new talent. This is such a good festival, isn't it? It's really good to see them supporting independent horror. There's a good variety of uh, horror films that have been shown today. We just watched Splintered. That was very good. It's kind of a psychological thriller and it's about a group of teenagers that go off looking for this kind of beast. I loved all the, the scenes with loads of blood and the dark. Very well written, very well constructed, good direction. It's very good, a lot of suspense to it and a lot of tension. There's a lot of scary moments, a lot of kind of shock moments. During the screening, I was squirming and I know what was happening, but it's just that whole thing of like, you know, when there's nothing there and you're looking and there's nothing and then something appears and makes you jump. I didn't see the plot coming, you know, the way it ended. I was always wondering what was going to happen next. I thought it was going to be like your typical um, like monster movie, but it turned out to be slightly different. Screening Splintered, which is my movie, for me was a highlight, obviously, because it was great to, to screen it to an audience. We screened Hellraiser on the Friday night. We had the guys, the actors from Hellraiser, we had the guys that played the Cenobites, and they were great, they were really nice. They did, they did signed autographs, and then they did Q&As for the audience of the film, and they, had a, they did a really nice session. They were really lovely fellas. I think Hellraiser was a lot of happy accidents, not just in the cast, but um, the whole crew, really. Um, there were a lot of elements that all came together at, at the right place at the right time. It was just a laugh. We had a great deal of fun doing these things. Myself and Simon both had to use denture grip to hold, because we had teeth. We had plastic teeth on our teeth. And this just makes you salivate, salivate. And somehow Bob persuaded Clive to try this stuff. And I just remember Clive Barker running around the set, drooling like mad. The makeup was so horrendous to wear. I was completely blinded because uh, I had a scene where I took the glasses off and uh, the eyes were sewn up. My ears were covered in foam latex. My mouth, my nose was covered in foam latex. And then we had false dentures stuck on top of my own teeth. So it was like sensory deprivation for 15 hours a day. They led us onto the set for the first day shooting and nobody kind of had told them that Nick and I were blind, so they were kind of talking us through and they were saying, OK, we want you to walk over there and you're going to hit the mark. Because we got false dentures in, we couldn't really speak, so we were going, yeah, we're blind, we're blind. They're going, yeah, 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 lovely. Well, anyway, you go over here, you go, yeah, we're blind. <laughs> it probably took me about four or five viewings of the movie before I actually just sat back and said, yeah, now I can understand why people are scared of this character. Women particularly, I've noticed. I mean, it's, it's all a strange conversation. People come up to you and say, you know, you really, really scared me. And I go, oh, thank you. Well, thank you very, very much. The final trick for me was the first time I saw myself looking like that. When the makeup went on for the screen test, and I look in the mirror, and I can see my teeth and some of my eyes, and my ears are mine, and the inside of my nose is mine. Everything else is pinhead. And I, I sat in front of the mirror for maybe 20 minutes or something like that, and without question, 95% of pinhead I got then. About time to smell up here in the Northwest app. It's all in London all the time or Glasgow. It's about time to smell in the Northwest app. And this is really great because it's just like really doing a lot to boost 
um, you know, new filmmakers, new talents. Fantastic! It allows small little independent films like ours to um, you know to, 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 to show in an establishment as as great as the Odeon Manchester Printworks. Do you remember your name? The film's about amnesia and fear of the rural community. That's Sadler. I like the old British horror films of the 70s and I wanted to do something that harked back to that era. Do you remember the farm? I think the most important thing is getting the location right, getting the crew and the actors all together. I think number one rule has to be the scripts and for the fellow field it was fantastic. We had such fantastic crew and the actors were superb that you know every, every, everything just went well. A scary film should be mood, good story, good characters, noises, banging. I like the jumps, yeah. if you can create a bit of suspense. Sound effects really help. It ain't enough to just bang some blood. Your base fears are hit upon. The important thing is to mess with people's heads. I get scared by the psychological aspects of what humans are actually capable of. I want scantily clad women getting cut up on a regular basis. <laughs> The thing about horror is the fan base, if you can tap into that fan base, if you can reach that fan base, then you can, it will start to sustain itself. We might do another one. The fact that it's a horror festival and it's a film festival. Primarily for me, it's a film festival. We brought a lot of people from the movies up to talk about their movies. That's, that for me was what was great about it. And I think um, if we can push it out there more and make people aware that this is a really valuable event for Manchester and the North West and people see that and see how successful it's been the first year, then maybe we'll do it again next year and maybe it'll become, you know, a regular, regular festival. Well, we've had a scream of a time here up at the Grim North Festival and certainly it's made my hair stand up on end. For now, back to the studio. And remember, don't have nightmares.